I just woke up and I'm cranky, so I'm definitely in the ranty mood right now. Yesterday, I uploaded a video about why I think teenagers are annoying. It was one of my lesser controversial videos, or so I thought, because within a half hour of it being uploaded, YouTube took it down. Why was the video taken down, you may ask? Well, it was taken down for hate speech. Hate speech. Fucking hate speech. You have people like Tim Pool and every other video calling for civil war. That's allowed on YouTube. You have fascists festering around on this platform. That's allowed on YouTube. Uh, you have Nazi dog whistling. That's allowed on YouTube. But me talking about why I think a certain age group is annoying, that's taking it too far. That's hate speech. Nowhere in the video, and the people who actually watched the video before it got taken down can testify to this, nowhere in the video did I discriminate anyone for their race, their skin color, their sexual orientation, their gender identity, n religion, none of that. You know, things that would actually constitute as hate speech if I did actually rag on those things, but I didn't. Nowhere in that video did I discriminate anyone for any of those things, so you can't fucking get me for hate speech, because just saying teenagers are annoying does not fit the definition of hate speech, YouTube. So I appealed this because I knew this is such a blatantly bullshit takedown, and I honestly thought I was gonna win, because when I uploaded that porn rant about Pornhub or whatever, uh, I knew that was such a blatantly bullshit takedown too, because it was taken down for sexually explicit content, even though, like, the video just has the word Pornhub, and that's fucking it, and YouTube was like, yeah, you're right, sorry, we'll reinstate your video, and I thought the same would happen here, honestly, because there's nothing in the video that you can construe as hate speech, at least I don't think. And then, like, five minutes later, I get an email from YouTube saying, you know, your video does violate our community guidelines, so we're upholding your original decision. Fucking great, right? So I decided to go to Reddit because last year there was some guy on Reddit that helped me reinstate my ex video's video. Uh, so I figured he would be able to help me do the same here with this video. And then I find out that trusted flaggers cannot help with strikes and channel terminations anymore. They're not allowed to do that anymore. Fucking nice, right? Like, the only people you could go to and actually speak to that's not an automated system about your strikes cannot help you anymore because YouTube does not allow that anymore. How great. So then I'm like, ugh, oh, I'm shit out of luck, right? But then I go on Creator Studio and find out that I can actually appeal again on my laptop. I guess since I appealed on my phone, you're allowed to appeal on other devices. I don't know how the fuck it works. So I appeal again, hoping that this will work this time. But now, like 20 minutes later, it's a, I get an email saying, no, your video does violate our community guidelines. So... I took the last resort a few hours later, I decided to bite the bullet and actually contact you, Team YouTube on Twitter, even though I know, like, there's a 99% chance that fuck all is gonna happen, because that's what happened to my ex videos video after it was taken down, I went to Team YouTube for help, and they all, every time they fucking ignored me, every single time, they're supposed to help their creators, you know, the, the, the point of that account is to provide support for their creators, but no, they could give a fuck, they couldn't give a fuck less about their creators, most of the time they ignore their creators on that platform, so, yeah, I, I know, uh, I, this is pretty much a lose-lose situation, I know that video is probably never going to see the light of day again, and I tried re-uploading this, at first I re-uploaded it on my, uh, personal YouTube channel, of course I'm not going to give the link to that because, well, it's personal, uh, because I always do that whenever I re-upload some of my deleted, some of my, uh, videos on this channel that are taken down before I upload it on my second channel because I don't want to risk a strike on my second channel, and here's the shit ticker, the second I re-uploaded that teenagers video on my personal channel, the very instant I uploaded it, it got taken down by YouTube. Now, thankfully, I didn't get a strike or a warning or anything like that on the channel, so I just took down the video, and I guess my channel is untouched, but, like, I don't know what the fuck is up with that video that's making the algorithm be like, yep, this is hateful, we gotta take the video down, like, it's literally just a rant about teenagers, teenagers, fucking teenagers! Like, again, it's one of my least controversial videos. I've uploaded s serious political videos in the past that are completely fine. Not like any of those videos be are warranted be to be taken down, but I'm just saying, like, it's one of my least controversial videos, but for whatever fucking reason, YouTube just does not want the video on their platform. I really don't get it. I, I don't get it. YouTube just sucks. I re uh, it really does just suck. So now my channel has a warning attached to it. Not a strike, a warning. YouTube is actually nicer with their strike system now. Uh, because the first time you got a video taken down, and I know this isn't the first time I've had a video taken down, but all the other times, 
I've had videos taken down, I beat it, but I guess now I'm shit out of luck, so now I have a warning attached to my channel, and basically, if you get a warning, no penalty is put placed on you, you can still stream, you can still do all the things you could prior to getting this warning, but here's the shit kicker, here's the thing that I really hate about this warning system, the warning never ever expires, once you get this warning, and you can't get it appealed, you can't get it uh, removed from your channel, it is stuck on your channel forever, so the next time you quote-unquote break community guidelines, you actually get a strike and you get all the penalties that come with the strike. So let's say I don't, I don't get in trouble with YouTube at all for like, say, the next five years. Five years later, I get another video taken down for maybe a bullshit reason, and I get punished. Like, I, YouTube is like, oh, we know mistakes happen, but we're, we're going to always impugn you for this one little mistake for basically the rest of time. Because, again, this, ch th this warning never, is never, ever going to be lifted from your channel. Isn't that nice? How fucking nice is that? So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to vanish like I did the last time I got a video taken down. I, I, I'm still going to be doing my thing. Uh, I'm just going to be more careful now because, of course, I don't want to strike on my channel, and that actually comes with some pretty nasty penalties, like not being able to upload for a week, and it takes away your ability to live stream for a while, and I do plan on doing some more live streams sometime in the near future, so be on the lookout for that, but yeah, YouTube just sucks, and, th and here's the thing that sucks, I know ranting about YouTube is counterproductive, they are not going to change, they're always going to have a monopoly on the video sharing market, but still, like, the fact that I and many other people that are not that don't have huge audiences have to go through bullshit like this. It's just well, bullshit. Yeah, so end of rant. Uh closing thoughts. Stranger Things is a good show. <laughs> I started watching it the other day, and no, I'm not saying good things about the show because there's a character named Michael on the show. It's actually a really good show. Watch it if you haven't. I don't know why the fuck I brought that up, but I just wanted to end the video on some kind of good note. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye.